Hi hey Libra, this is Nikki. I'm here to do your spiritual reading. This is timeless, so I hope it resonates with you. I'm going to base this reading on a crystal card today. Okay, so take what you need and leave the rest. If you're interested in the sale I have going on, the information is below. Okay, thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Spiritual message today for Libra. What is your crystal for this reading? Crystal for this reading. And we have here rose quartz. That's some kind of love. Rose quartz for the Libra. Okay, that's your crystal for this reading. I, I allow love and open my heart to attention, affection, and my romantic partner. Okay, attract your soulmate. Increase feelings of comfort and acceptance. Amplify unconditional love. Cultivate good friends, family, and work relationships. So it's all about love. Okay. That's what your reading is going to be based off of. I just so happen to have some rose quartz in the house. Okay. Give me a love reading for Libra, please, for you guys. Give me a love reading for Libra. Love reading for Libra, for you. please, please, please. We have you being stabbed in the back and indecisive about working on a relationship or working things out with somebody here. Okay. Um, what's going on? You have you we have the star card, a very pure person. You are a very pure person. Maybe you have to cut somebody out of your life who wasn't treating you fairly, who wasn't treating you right, and who wasn't really to work willing to work on the relationship. So you we have you cut each other out. We have the star card, the king and the queen of swords, okay. And we have a happy home. Okay, maybe this person wanted to fight for the home and you say, no, I don't want you in my life anymore. You got to bounce. I'm done. I don't want to deal with you. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups and somebody left the home. Maybe the male or one of you left the home. Okay, you said, well, I'm done. Um, and after the fact, this person wants to call and talk to you, but it's too late. I'm done. You know, there's nothing else that we can say. We're not getting along with each other. here. Okay. Then we have it wasn't maybe it wasn't a balanced, fair relationship between you two, and that's what hurt you. Okay, you were indecisive about this issue. And we have the Empress. You thought more of yourself than that, so you had to make a decision. Um, you're not working hard at this relationship with me, so we're just gonna leave it alone. Okay, we're gonna agree to disagree that I deserve better, pretty much. Okay. What is the star card here for? It's like you are getting rid of what no longer serves you, okay, in order to make room for what does or who who does, because you're finding strength in yourself. You're ha you're finding strength, and you being this emperor or this emperor, knowing that you can stand up for yourself and you don't have to take any BS, okay. This may have been not a mutual decision. Maybe you decided to walk away from the relationship, relationship, and the person tried to come after you, and you said, "No, I'm done. Don't you? Don't I'm done." You know, because they gave very little effort in the relationship until it was too late. Okay, and then we have here you having you being the king or the queen of cups, them being a the page of cups. So you said, "I want more. I expect more out of my man, or I expect more out of my woman." And here we have here uh, a new love coming into your life, or this person finally got their act together and said, "I want to love you the right way." Okay. I'm sorry that I hurt you. Maybe crying over spilled milk because we have the five of cups and saying, I know that you're the one for me. I know you're my soulmate. Can we sit down and talk about this and work this situation out? Because I love you. You have brought me so much joy into my life. You were a blessing to me. I'm sorry I didn't treat you as such. Okay. So this person may text you and, and, and say, well, can I come home? You know, you may see this person from time to time in, in the store, in the area, your neighborhood, or whatever, they'll send you a text message. I was just looking at our picture that we took on our anniversary or that special night that we were together and I just miss you. And they'll be texting you back and forth, letting you know how much they miss you, how much they want you, how much they desire to be with you. But you remind this person, you gave me very little. You didn't even treat me like we were in a relationship or something like this. But you're saying, I'm done with this situation now, you know. But this person still loves you and they're, they're, they're reflecting on their errors you know, on what they didn't do or what they could have done better in the relationship. So they want a new move. They want a new, a new, a new goal, a do over with you with this will of fortune, but they're not sure if you'll take them back. Um, and they're, they're not really not even sure um, if you will, 
accept them back. They, they don't think that you will jump. They don't think that you will jump at the chance to invite them back in your life. But they want to come back this time to make sure they do it right. To, to be even closer to you, closer, closer tied with you. You and this person, he wants or she wants to come back and say, let's do this. I want this to, to, to end in marriage. Or I want us to go to marriage counseling to fix what was broken between the two of us. Yeah, to fix what was broken between the two of us. Because I'm sorry that, that I couldn't give you what you wanted at the time, but I didn't know how to give you what you needed. Okay, so this person is saying, I want to come back and fix this. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry I wasn't ready for what you were ready for, but now I am ready. I am more than ready to come in and make this relationship work here. To make this relationship work with the Harold and Core, a higher form of a committed, committed relationship. This person wants to come in and do this again. Okay, I allow love and open my heart to attention, affection, and my romantic partner. So they want to come in and work it out with you. But it's up to you, Gemini. I'm sorry, Libra. So you may be dealing with a Gemini. All right. Talk to you soon.